the story begins my friend GM Pill and Fact Sack of Shit Chris. We had a friend called DJ Magnum, very well known, very famous. In our freshman year, all we do is just throw food inside of the ceiling tiles in school when the teacher wasn't looking. But this story is very disturbing and gross and I think I should just get into it. The story begins over the summer of sophomore year, 2021, and begins the beginning of junior year, 2021. Granted, I am a senior now. It all began when DJ Magnum invited us into his house. Me, Liam, and Fat Chris all go into his house, right? And we're just goofing around, checking out his rooms. He has drum sets, belongings, all his metal posters. And eventually he leaves to go do something. This is where all of us start taking photos inside of the attic. We take a photo of the attic here, and then we all take photos facing where the general camera is. One by one, each of us take a photo. And that's when we found something very disturbing. We had a friend called Nick Fibian. I think he was into like fucking frogs or something. I don't know. That's Nick's whole ordeal. But while we're in there, we run into something very disturbing. It looked like a man. He was wearing the coat of a aborted fetuses and we noticed he was looking at us and masturbating until climax. I couldn't, I couldn't like do anything. Me and Liam, he spotted us, me and GM, we book lined it out, but fat Chris couldn't make it because he ran on Red Bulls and fucking Doritos and Mountain Dew and he played fucking Call of Duty all day. He ended up getting caught, but we were in the attic. It seems like DJ Magnum locked us in. It seems like he was feeding people to the creature that uh, noticeable resemblance to the the famous well-known man Jeffree Star while we were there we ended up breaking the door down DJ Magnum nowhere to be found we just book lined it out of the house that sack of shit Chris wasn't behind us we didn't bother checking cause fuck that dude we ended up coming back about a week later to the neighborhood and when we got to the house, it was old, decrepit, abandoned, almost as if the events that transpired never happened. It made me wonder if there was ever a DJ Magnum or a Fat Chris or any of that. It really makes you question whether anything is real in the real world or if it's all fake and illusions.